Hello, Drax Fantastic here. Today we're gonna play a game called Aquatic Store Simulator. I've played a lot of these store simulator games recently, and I never thought I would be the kind of person who's like, you gotta play a store simulator game, it's so much fun. And I know that we've talked about it time and time again, all these games are sort of the same, and they are, and I think that's what makes them so great. There's not a lot of learning curve, you can sit down and play them, they're relaxing, they're fun, Recently, someone I know was like, Drax, you know there's a fish store one, right? And I was like, get out of here, I gotta see it. Here it is. All right, so I wanna show you the start of the game and how to set it up and how to get running, give you a little bit of gameplay, and we'll jump forward and look at a store that I've been working on because I'm a fish lover, all right? Okay, let's go. All right, we can continue or we can say, we're gonna say new story. I've saved a slot here in the middle and we'll say select loading. I've seen a couple of the store simulators start like this where it's a mess, but this is beyond a mess. It's too much game dev. Like I want to spend about a couple of minutes cleaning this up and I'm not kidding you. This is a 10 or 15 minute ordeal, maybe longer depending on how quick you get of cleaning this up to get it ready to open. This is level one unlocked items. You can see there's a bunch of really cool items. Look at these fish. Look at these fish. We're gonna say close, and we're gonna look around here. And so to pick up stuff, hold and click to pick up the box, and then space to throw it into the garbage can. <laughs> I think this could be almost as much fun as the game itself, and it takes a little getting used to, and you can see that I'm not great at it. <laughs> you also don't have to throw it in there. You can come over here and place it. But like, especially when you're, oh, yes! Especially when you're far away and then it, it collides with things so you can get it stuck. So like you're trying to come over here and get it stuck on the other side. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. I mean, this is the mini game at the beginning. And, and the, the cleanup would be worse. Oh my God, I got it stuck. The cleanup would be worse if you couldn't throw because you'd have to be running in all the time. I mean, I wish we could leave that there. And so, yeah, so the so the beginning part of this game is cleaning up the store, which I, I've, I've played the game quite a bit, and I don't understand what this teaches me about the game itself, right? Like, there we ride at the couch. Like, other than it being sort of a fun mini game, I'm not, like, I'm not exactly sure I guess it I guess it could be that it teaches you how the store's laid out. I don't I don't get it. I just don't get it. Maybe a couple of pieces of trash and a couple things to overturn just to show you this is how you clean. Save the game by using the device on the table. Let's come over here and we can click on this and we can hit save. That's the middle one. Now it's kind of teaching us tab to open the shop here. Click to change the subcategories, and then we can buy a mop and say buy. And now we can come through here and clean off the walls. Oops, that, that's not a one. We can clean off the walls. This process is a little long also, because I think that could be, I think that could be like cut in half. And then you can see up top, it says clean the dirt from the floor and the walls, two of six, repair fallen stores, two of three and pick up garbage 13 of 15. Oh, see, I messed up there. Oh my God, I got another one. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my God. All right, you know what? I take it all back. This is a great part of the game. Boop, 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 boom. Will they both just fall in? Oh, one did. I was tempted to do a review of the game where it's just me doing this part and then just like piecing out. All right, press tab to open the shop, buy a box of any item and select it. So we'll say tab here. It wants us to buy anything to sell on the shelves. This is the, so a lot of these games, you like go to a computer and then you order stuff. I think that this is one of the game differences that I like and dislike at the same time because part of like the computer shows you, you know, on the other games, the computer shows you the inventory and what you have and what you can buy. And so if we click here, we can say seashells. 
It'll tell us the description. We can tell us how much it is to buy. We can buy one or we can buy a box of 10. We'll buy a box of 10. And then, well, let's buy also this sculpture here and we'll buy a box of 10 of those. And uh, we'll wait. We don't want to get too far ahead. Now you can see down here we got a toolbar and then we can put these on the shelf. This is pretty standard fare uh, for these games. And then we'll try to make it into... Oh! Yeah, we made it. And then... My other problem is that like I can't jump to see what's on that top shelf, so it's a little a little tough, a little tough. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that one too. All right, then as it says at the top of the screen here, it says you must have an empty hand to click on the price tag. Be careful not to overdo it or customers won't buy the item. If we click here, I there there's no like it doesn't really give you any guidance on how expensive it should be. When a customer comes in and it's too expensive, above their head when they walk in, it'll say it's too expensive, and then you've got to lower the price. I don't know. What do we think? $15, we'll confirm. And then we'll come here and do the same. This one's 99 bucks. so can we do 125 And I don't know if that's, you know, is that, is that, is that enough? Is it good enough? Boop, boop. Fill more shelves uh, in the same way to a five. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that, I made it. Let's buy some more stuff. What do we got here? Uh, let's buy some plants. We'll do that. And then maybe, ooh, let's do something colorful. Let's do, ooh, let's do this. Two, we need one more. Um, what do we got here? What do we, this stuff is locked. Do, do, we could buy a rock. Uh, let's buy this rock. All right. And then we'll come here and I'm going to put it on a shelf in which I can see. The good thing here is that you don't have to click. You can click once and it places all of them. A couple of these games like, oh man, that was a good shot. Um, they're, they're, you have to like click, 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 click. I like this. I like this. They were, they were at least thinking of, you know, my pointer finger. And then we'll put these here. Maybe. All right. And then we'll, God, I'm getting good at that. I might be getting too good at that. And then we'll set the price. It's 11 bucks. I don't know. Uh, do we see 19? And then here we'll click again. It's 22. So 30. Does that seem fair? <laughs> you tell me, would you buy a plant for $30? And this one, I don't know, 32. We go high on the rock and hope for it. Go to the workbench, press tab and buy your first aquarium. Here's the workbench. We could probably move some of these boxes out of here. Doo -doo -doo. Oh! Man, yeah, this, I don't know, just like the vending machine game has its fun car to drive, the throwing the boxes into the garbage can uh, might, might be top of the list on fun things. All right, so we're going to click here. We're going to press tab, uh, go to the aquarium. This is my, right after throwing the boxes, this is my second favorite part of the game. We'll buy an aquarium, buy, and you can see it's placed it here. Looking good. Q on the aquarium to inspect and see what type of water. Uh, it's very important to put the correct type of fish, plants, and decorations in the appropriate type of water. Otherwise, it will die. So we can do not for that, but we can do this for that. Whatever the flock of seagulls that means. All right. So aquarium traits. It's fresh water. Capacity 450 liters. Enable for shop. And then it's telling us the pH. We can change the name of the aquarium. Drax. Drax tank. Uh, all right, and then click out of here. Buy a shovel and some soil. Press the tab button to open. I think the tutorial part of this is actually quite nice. Doesn't leave you guessing, like, what's next? We'll buy some soil. We'll come down here. We'll buy a shovel. Boom. Pick up the new soil and the shovel. Use the numbers on your keypad to select items from your inventory. So we're going to say three and four. And then click to start applying. This process is kind of... I was like, it seems really jank, one, and it also seems like like really time intensive, but I just think you need to think about the kind of game you're playing. And the more I play this game, the more I realize that like this is this is great, right? Like you really get to just build your own aquarium. <laughs> uh, right click to exit. All right, so we've got enough in there. Mm, right click to throw it out. All right, look at look at that. Look at that wonderfulness. We could 
Here's where I'm gonna here's where I'm gonna store my shovel. Are you ready? And where am I gonna store the extra soil? I, there, I think you can buy a storage thing later. It's just kind of funny. All right, so let's buy a bucket now. Here you can see it's got it's blinking on the double dots. There's a bucket. Buy. Cool. Uh, while holding the bucket to the sink, pick the water. I mean, cracks. Listen to that sound. Looks like I was eating chips the last time I was here. And then pour the water into the aquarium. This process too, like, how about buy a hose attachment to this and then just <laughs> fill it up? Because... It's a little, I'm telling you, it, it feels a little tedious, but it's all part of the experience. All right. Buy and pick up a rock for the aquarium. Uh, I'm going to buy a rock here, here. Uh, anybody have a favorite? I like, I like the one that's, I like the one that's, we can only buy one. We'll buy, let's buy two of them. All right. And then we're going to place the rock. We're going to place this rock. You can see here, you can edit the item. You can make it bigger or smaller. Uh, and then we can put it right there. Nice. Buy and collect four items to your inventory. Press the numbers to switch betwe between them. All right, so this time it's saying, listen, it wants us to just make it pretty in there. So let's do two of those. Two of those. And then um, do one of these. And we'll go here. And we'll edit the item. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Good. And then go three. And then we'll try to get this one right there. Four, let's do a little bit bigger. Let me put it right there. Yeah. And then, oh, let's definitely make this bigger. Can, where do we want to put this? All right. And then five. Where, wait, where's the last one? Drax. Mm -hmm. Boo, 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 boo. And rotate the eye. We can rotate it a little bit, huh? All right. Right click on the decorations, e e g the stone, and make it static. This way, other decorations won't overturn it. All right, let's go here. And so we can click on the stone. When you select a decoration to make it static, items become stable and you can no further. Yeah, so now we can just say static. Cool. Buy a filter. Simple. We're going to buy this one. Buy. And then put the filter in the aquarium. Boo, boo, boo. I'm going to put it right there. And then we need to inspect it. And then we need to enable it so that it actually... Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna put this on the ground. All right, now buy heater. Got it. Got it. And we're gonna put it right there. And, we're gonna, and then I think, like, whenever you buy something, you need to remember that you need to enable it. And then this is how we're gonna mess with the temperature later. And then a thermometer. Thermometer. And we'll put it... Put it right. Can we put it right? Not touching... Object is, t is touching the glass. All right, good. The aquarium's ready to uh, let fish in. Buy two goldfish. Here. Here. There they are. We'll buy two for 30 bucks. And then we'll... Put one. Look at that, look at that animation! Each fish has its own stats. Click the right mouse button on the fish to inspect it. The condition of the fish is shown by its parameters here on the right. So we can see, hey, listen, it might be hungry. It needs to be warmer in this tank. Uh, we have enough plants. We need a little more decoration. Fish amount. So if there's too many fish, they get unhappy. And then the water pH looks right. Temperature is very important, basically what I was saying. And all of this, uh, it, it, the alerts will appear on the left-hand side, and this will tell you if the tank is messed up. Click on the name and enter a new name for your fish. Go Golden Drax. We need to take care of our fish. Buy and pick up some fish food. The other thing you can do is you can hit Q to inspect the fish tank. And then you can hover above here to see exactly what's going wrong. I think this is much easier than actually like uh, trying to get the fish and click on the fish. This is the way to do it. 
And then if we, we, so we know that it needs to get warmer in there so we can come over here and turn up the heat. And we'll let that catch up while we pick up some fish food. And we'll buy this, click. This is a fun animation too, are you ready? Ha! Love it. Love it. Uh, make the parameters of the fish in the aquarium correct. All right, and so if we click here, we can see the temperature's coming up. We need a little bit more decorations. And we can come in here and just buy like, oh, look, at, oh, that one's locked. We could buy none of those, Drax. No, you can't buy any of those, that's why they're not blinking. Another rock. Another, ooh, no, 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 let's buy this. Buy. And then we'll just toss that in there. And then we can look again. Look at the little smiley faces. All right. And the fish amount will get better. The hunger's good. Temperature's perfect. Plants. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Uh, we must manage to breed fish to earn money. Right-click on one of them and inspect the aquarium and sell fish. Selling bigger fish gives more money. All right. So we can see here we can sell a fish, which we did. Something's missing here. I know. Buy and pick a background. So we'll click here. Backgrounds. I like this one. We'll say bye. Three, and we'll put it on there. Look at how beautiful it is! Mm -mm, mm -mm. And then you can pick up a decoration. So we can pick up a rock. And we can put it on the background to make it unique. So we can move the item. Boom, boom. Object will be placed on the background. There it is! <laughs> There's a rock in the background! I don't know why that I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. You can uh, you can still make our aquarium better by uh, picking up a lamp, so we can come here. And base I love this because it teaches you how to do it, and so that the next time, you know exactly what you're up, up for, right? Uh, and then we can right right click to inspect the lamp, and then we can enable it, and we can also change the color, so we could do white. Yeah. Increase the lamp's power from above. Whoops. Uh, we can go here. We can make it brighter in there. Look at that. Look at that. You must have empty hands. Hold. Now it's time that we're going to move the aquarium to its place. Hold, right click, and then left click to grab the aquarium. And we're going to go place it on this display out here. Do, 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 do. There it is. All right, come closer to talk to your first guest. Hi, guy. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, boy. Wait until the customers finish shopping. So this is basically like the trial run on how to do the shopping part. This part's a little wonky, too. Mm -mm -mm. Buy a bucket, fill it with top water, and fill the barrel. All right, so this is like the fish bagging machine. We've got a bucket already. We need to fill it full of water. Yeah, and then we gotta fill this. And this is something you need to keep on top of uh, because it runs out. Uh, and then, like, the, the store will be super busy and the, the machine will have run out and you'll have to, like, stop and f <laughs> refill this thing to, like, sell some fish. All right, buy and use the next catch fish customer use outline machine. Okay, all right, so um, now we need to buy a net. And now, see, he's got a little fish. I need a fish. So we come here and we'll say, whoop, we got one. And then we'll come over here and we'll drop it in and then watch. Boom. We got the little bag fish. And then we got to give it to him. Hello, sir. There. Now he's ready to, now he's ready to check out. So he's going to drop what he, the fish he's not going to drop. He's going to drop this thing. Then we scan it and put it into the bag. He's going to give us this. We're going to pay by credit card. Three, two, enter. Done. Now you can set the store hours right here. Prepare the aquarium for the store opening. You can change the opening time by clicking on the sign. So we can say, hey, we want to open a little bit earlier. And then prepare the aquarium for the store opening. So we can come over here and just take a quick look. You can see we have way too many fish in here. And that's why they're probably unhappy. But we can come in here and sell. We sold, we sold Drax. We're going to sell some of the more expensive ones. Do-do. And then we're going to open. We're open. 
Develop a store aquariums, reach 25% satisfaction at the end of the day, and unlock level two to get more. I'm gonna show you one customer, then I'm gonna jump forward and you show you my store with a couple of different things on it. And then uh and then I think you should add this to your wish list if you're if you're if you're a fish tank fan and an aquarium fan. Come on. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Hello, sir. I like how they bring their own bags. That is responsible. That is responsible. Hello. Alright, and so then the scanning part of this. I got a lot better at it, but it's a, it's a, it's a little, like, it's not great on the wrist. I guess I'll tell you that. All right. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good afternoon. Can someone play with cash so I can show that? 144 bucks. I'll take it. That person needs a goldfish. All right. Here. Ooh. High value item there. All right, and then the cash is pretty straightforward. 160 received, 150. We need them five bucks back, and then we hit confirm, and they're out the door. Let's jump forward, and I'll show you my store uh, with a couple different aquariums and a bunch of stuff on the shelves. All right, here we are in Drax 2.0 at the bigger store. You can see I've got two aquariums. I've got a couple of different fish in there. Look at how pretty they are. Hi, guys. And then if we see, we can get sell one if we want. We can look and to see why they're unhappy. Mm, mostly just because of me. I've hi you can hire people. I've hired a guy and this guy just goes and does the fish. So if people need fish, he just takes care of it. I've got a bunch of different items on the shelves here. Ooh, what do we got? Shovels and pH stuff. I'm selling heaters and thermometers. Uh, oh, there's the hose. I was talking. Oh, look, I'm smelling. I'm selling. I'm selling gnomes. Ha! <laughs> Lights. So yeah, I've got a pretty good, this is extra stuff I've just got on the floor for restocking. And then here's, yeah, here's Drax's clean storage. Looking good, looking good. The game is called Aquatic Store Simulator. If you're a fish lover like I am, this one is definitely worth your time. It is a very well put together store sim game. It, it the same basic concept, build a store, fill it up, sell the goods, hire employees, Sit back on that nice comfy couch and hang out. The graphics are great. The gameplay is solid. Add it to your wish list. Go out and buy it now if you're into store sims. I gotta go because I gotta buy some more fish. As always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. The video's over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.